Kushi. Do my dance for the Lord, I'm Kovi. In the Lord, you're the one. I'm alive like a movie. Got the bread for me, I'm choosy. I'm alive like a movie. Got the bread for me, I'm. When I praise God, I'll never act bougie. Do my dance for the Lord, I'm groovy. You know I'm groovy. More than anything, Lord, use me. Price on my life, big flex. Hey. Okay. What do you see? I see that you're God favored. I see light. I see love. I see smiles. <laughs> I see joy. I see all the fruit of the spirit, baby. Are you ready? <laughs> do you want to welcome it? No. Go on, you welcome it. I feel like they like you more than me. <laughs> I agree, I think they will. Okay, anyway. go. Hey yeah. guys, and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Isabella Gore. And I'm Kenji Gore. And today we're going to be speaking about how to handle hard conversations with your loved one. I like this one. <laughs> this is going to get juicy, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> well, let's go, let's go. I think it would be a good idea to first start with, like, when was the last time that we had a difficult conversation? Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Talk to us then. When was the last time? I think the last time for me was when I'd moved through a miscarriage. And then after that, I was still going through it like emotionally and mentally and physically. And everyone else was kind of speaking about don't worry like try again it'll be fine next time and like I couldn't even think about trying again or next time at the moment like I was still moving through it so I felt like there was pressure on me to then actually like have a baby and then I started to actually realize that I felt like I'd been pretending to myself and therefore you that I was ready for a baby and Actually, like, I was ready to start trying for a baby because genuinely my mindset was that it's going to take like a good year, two years to happen. And when it happens straight away, I literally like freaked out. But I guess that. Oh my days. video but I had to come to you and I actually had to share with you that I wasn't ready to go again or actually have a baby and when I say this conversation was difficult I actually was feeling like oh my days this could be like a make or break it for me and Kenji too wow. because like this is something so big and something that we've always spoken about and here I am putting a huge spanner wow in the works wow no that's so deep you know that's so deep the way you brought it as well was like something's coming in mm. you know you set it up in a way that was like okay you've never done this before mm -hmm. you've never set a conversation up like this before and i remember you sat me down you took me over and i was like whoa this is getting serious what is this like what what's going on here um and because i experienced this with you because i was going through this with you I was I was feeling like stuff with you mm. and that's why it was kind of easier to be in this conversation because I was in it with you mm. and I think you know when you're going in a hard conversation with your with your partner if you're not in it with them it might be difficult to kind of see their point of view or mm. feel their point of view because you're not experiencing it with them Mm. And because this was our joint experience and it was something that we were like, wow, like I'm becoming a father, like you're becoming a mother. Like we're like speaking about these things mm -hmm. a lot. And I can't lie, it was kind of a scary process, you know, from understanding like, wait, I'm Kenji, I'm a son, I'm a footballer. Wait, now I'm going to be It was kind of bad, wasn't it? <laughs> like it was a kind of... 
I'm shocked. I don't know, I've, I've lost the words maybe. So what now? <laughs> Wait, what now? I don't believe it's real. <laughs> it's just it's real. I'm actually shocked. No, I'm in future, I'm in shock. I've been in shock for a long while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Can we just sit down for a second? <laughs> like, it was a kind of a mad uh, process, but I say this to say that when Bella did sit, sit me down and share that, there were so many things going through my mind that I was like, how am I actually going to reply to her? What am I actually gonna say to her? Because this is something that I really desire. You know, growing up, this was one of my things that I really wanted. You know, I really wanted um, a son. I uh, really wanted a, I really want a daughter. I want, I want both. Kenji wants about 11 kids, guys. I want their children. But honestly, like that is something that I've always grown up to to desire. I just want to be a dad. Like I want to look after my family, be with my family, laugh around the table. Like these are just things that that I that I envision that I desire. And when my wife um, comes to me and tells me, I don't think I'm ready, my heart dropped. You know, my heart drops, and I'm like, wait, okay. I understand because of the things that she's experiencing and things that she's going through, but that's not something that you can decide now. That's not something that we can that we can come come in right in this moment when we're experiencing this. So that's these are the conversations that we're having, and I'm saying to myself like, how am I going to get my point across in a way that is with her, not against her, mm. because we're with each other. You know, and it's when we're, when you're, you know, having an argument or coming into a conversation, a hard conversation with your partner, you got to remember that you're with each other. You're like, you're on the same team, mm -hmm. like you're not against each other. And that's something that our pastor taught us. Like we're in this together mm -hmm. and it might sometimes seem that you're against each other, but you're not, you know, you're with each other. And I think that's, that's something that, um, that you need to be really aware of and that's what we're aware of as well yeah so before that conversation even took place and this is how i would share how to have a difficult conversation mm. is i guess we kind of like to process things first yeah. um because we can come into a conversation from us reacting to something but in my experience, like that's never really got me far, especially like trying to communicate um, to someone how I feel and what my desire is um, too. So yeah, I feel like I definitely took a lot of time to process and I can kind of see, and this is really good to look out for in your partner too. I can kind of see like when Kenji is processing something mm. and I remember like when I was younger, I would always try and like poke at him, like I poke at him, like what are you thinking? What are you feeling? Like, tell me something's going yeah, on. Like, yeah, just yeah, tell yeah, me. Yeah, 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 and like, yeah. I used to try and get it out of him and it would come out in just like awful ways. And he would react in just like to different things. And now it's got to the point that I don't even care if he's reacting to something else because I know he's actually processing something mm. and I'm not going to let this thing that he's reacting to actually take him out of what he's actually processing and then desires to bring um, to a conversation because I know that it's always going to get round to that place um, too. And I think processing is really important because mm. otherwise you're just going to come with all of your thoughts, like every single thing that's going mm. on. And that's fine when you're in a conversation, it's fine when you're just speaking something through, but when you're actually coming and you're attempting to get some type of point across, mm. I do think that that's a shift in dynamic in terms of how you actually do that. Yeah, it it, it, like we're talking about hard conversations that you've, you have to have time to think about what you're really going to say to your partner. Mm. Like we, you need to come prepared because your emotions are gonna take over. Like there's so many times where I've wanted to say something to her and I've not prepared myself. And I've come to her and I'm just reacting to what she's saying. Mm -hmm. And I've not even got my point across of what I actually wanted from the conversation. So she's now angry at something that I said and I'm angry about how she reacted. And now we're just in this battle. 
And that's why it's really important for, uh, for conversations to really have a point that you want to get to your partner. Like, what is it that you want to get across to your partner? Because then there's ways that you can bring it to your partner. And another thing is timing. Like, timing is so key. Like, for example, like, I'm on the bench. Um, this, this happened the other day. Well, yesterday, because I was on the bench yesterday. And Bella can't come to me with certain things because I might react. But I say that to say it's not always easy. So if football is not going the way that I want it to go or life in general isn't going the way that you want it to go, be sensitive to your partner. Be sensitive to the things that they're moving through. And it's easy to be aware when you're invested in what they're doing. Mm. So something that I've realised is when I'm invested to what Bella's doing, I can be a lot more conscious and aware of what she's moving through. So I know, right, she's in launch mode. She's, she's sharing something to the world. Let's not come with certain things in this phase because she might react to certain things. And, and I think these are things where we help each other through these things and understand the seasons of life that we're both moving through um, together. I think that it's really important to kind of pick your place, like pick your moment, understand when you're going to do something and set it up. Like I'm more than happy to literally say to Kenji, I really desire to speak to you about something important. Uh, can we make space to speak about it later on, put our phones away. And then we basically have made a date yeah. on when we're going to speak. And, um, and your partner can also prepare. Yes. Because that is a good one. You don't want to get your partner off guard. No. I don't want, I can't get you off guard if it's something serious that I need mm -hmm. to share. So I think that's a really good point. Yeah. So I would say that this really, really sums it up. Process, prepare, and pick your place. And make your point. And, make, and also, it's got to be with love. Yes. Like, I think that is a key, you know, like if you don't come to a, to a conversation without love being in there, because <laughs> you'll lose. Yeah. <laughs> you'll and the lose. whole point of you guys coming together is to come into agreement yeah. of something, because when you're in disagreement in a marriage and in relationship, you guys are going to go the opposite ways mm -hmm. and that's not the goal of a relationship that's not the goal of a marriage like you want to be brought together and these difficult conversations these hard conversations will do that because they're only going to make you stronger you're only going to be able to understand more about each other um too and honestly like it's actually so beautiful that you can be so open with your partner as well and i know that it can be uncomfortable i know that mm -hmm. it can be awkward um but it actually does get easier and it does get better with time as well so mm -hmm. if there's a conversation that's on your heart that you know that you want to discuss that you really really want to speak about like take it upon yourself to move through like what we've actually just shared uh, and as kenji said leave with love so this was how to handle a difficult conversation we hope that it helps you uh, in having a conversation with your loved one too make sure you like subscribe Hit the notification bell and we'll see you soon. God bless. No, but Emily was the best. No, it's cool. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, we're going to go. Oh, is this a separate video? I don't know. Because I don't what know what. Speak your truth. Something, Say it with something your chest. That triggers me about this one. <gasps> Don't say it. We're gonna do a video of what okay, we, okay. what triggers. triggers. Okay, okay, the triggers. What triggers? But let me give them once. Go on, nah, leave it, leave it. Go on. No. Okay. <laughs>